I hatched the dungeon master. Let's do another review. I guess you say what can make me feel this way? Dungeon master, my girl, talking about my dungeon master. Dungeon master. Okay. Dungeon Master, the monster that got all people guessing, is this monster male or female? And let me tell you, on Monster Wiki, man, you guys got opinions. And I mean opinions. And you know what? I'm starting to feel bad for this poor girl. I mean, look at her. Alright, let's get back on schedule here. Sorry about that. Um, yes, Dungeon Master, is she good? She is fantastic. I love her. But just like any other woman, she has many flaws, uh huh? You know what I'm saying? No? Hello? Hello? I mean monster! You know, monster! Monster? Oof, the bad jokes will just keep coming. Let's just take a look at her numbers, her stats real quick. You got her power, 3,201. Her life at 29,255. Her speed at 3,476. Stamina usually at 140 like everyone else, so that's okay. And they're okay, man. All right, I guess. Her trait is hardened. Stop it. I know what you're gonna say, so stop it. Hardened in meaning that all status effects accuracy will be 20% less than the usual non-hardened Flake anyway, I'm not saying it! <laughs> there is something wrong with me today, so I am going to apologize. I'm sorry! Anyways, overall, she's kind of like Timerion. She has powers to deny, deactivate, activate cooldowns. Um, the only problem is she's kind of human or uh, emotional, I guess is the word. Unlike Timerion, who could resist effects, um, she is prudent to it. Is that the word? Prudent? Anyways, but she could be possessed. That means she could be used against you. Um, if used right with the right runes, relics, and maybe teammates, uh, she can be a very valuable person, including in PvP. Uh, we're going to get to the skills section, and that is going to show you, or, um, how? <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> Let's just move on, shall we? Skill review! Alright. I believe that the Dungeon Master has two bread and butter skills. One of them being uh, a bit late. A bit late activates all the cooldowns on all enemies. It's a great power, um, just like Timerion. If you manage to hit everyone with this, uh, it could prevent them from making a move for the next round. His next bread and butter is Critical Failure, which is similar to Scrap Warrior's move, uh, Smoke Bomb. Uh, it gives a total blind, uh, negative 100% accuracy, which means it's a guaranteed miss if this power hits. It's not the most powerful AoE, but the more important thing about this skill is the total blind effect. The next skill is Roll Effect. I chose this because I like to gamble and it's an AoE. Um, the damage is okay, it's not the best, but it gives random effects to the enemy, which could involve burning, nightmare, quicksand, poison, bleeding, and sunburn. Uh, so it could apply one of those um, when it hits, and it's a, I, I believe it's pretty nifty, uh, including in a boss fight, this is very useful. The final skill is Friends Gathering, which I think is one of the greatest skills too. Um, this, like Tamirion, removes or deactivates all cooldowns and removes all negative status effects from all the allies. So not only does it deactivate the cooldowns, which I think is great, including if it resets like the powerful moves of your DPS, but it removes all the negative statuses like uh, if your um, ally is bleeding or something like that, it removes that, so it's great. So there you have it, Dungeon Master. Um, like I said, she is not perfect. Um, she can't resist possess or anything like that. Um, but I believe she is a great character to play. Um, please, if you like this review, like or comment below. Uh, if you have any more suggestions, um, I'm finding this fun. I might get used to it. All right, this is Carver from Team AFKK. 
tagging out. Thank you.